Hi everyone, my name is Ruchi Singhal and I'm back with one more uh, use case of uh, Interaction Studio. Today I've, I'll walk you through how to integrate Interaction Studio with Salesforce so that the sales and service cloud agents can leverage its capabilities like tracking visitors behavior and contextual information to have more meaningful conversation with their customers and prospects. Let's go ahead and start it. So here the business challenge is uh, the customer experience is not limited to one channel or one interaction. When a company's marketing, sales and service departments interact with the same customer but do not provide consistent experience across touch points, it leads to bad customer experience. So with the help of Interaction Studio Connector with Sales or Service Cloud, now it is easy for sales and service agents to know the online behavior history and other contextual information of the customers and provide them with relevant recommendations which can lead to better customer experience and loyalty. Let's take up a use case that showcases real-time online to offline personalization. In this example, Ria receives a personalized email recommending a few products which she browsed in the past. From the email, she gets redirected to the website and browses few more products of her interest. After browsing for some time, Ria receives an option to chat or call online with the service agent. She has questions about the products she is browsing or added to the cart. She calls the call center and agent John picks up the call. With Interaction Studio connected to Salesforce, agent John has the real-time access to Ria's online behavioral history and he is able to provide her assistance proactively. He can tell Ria the best promotions available for the product she is browsing or various other products which other users of similar choice have browsed. Let's quickly jump into a demo which will showcase the integration of Interaction Studio with Salesforce and how the tailored recommendations appears on visitors record inside Salesforce to be referred by sales and service agent. So the first so for this, the first step is to install the Interaction Studio connector for sales and service cloud. Uh, for this, just get it on App Exchange by this name and click get it now. Select the Salesforce org which you want to link to the Interaction Studio. Click install in production. Select the terms and conditions and click confirm and install. You will receive an option to select whether you want to install it for admins, install it for all users. Select install for all users and click done. You will get the installed package under installed packages inside your Salesforce org with this name Interaction Studio Connector for Sales and Service Cloud. The next step is to create the API token inside Interaction Studio which you can create from security API tokens and from here click create token. Make, in, make sure that you check can access API and can send events. Select the data set for which you are creating this API token. Like I am in this data set as of now, so I am selecting KK89 and click OK. Once you will click AK, K, OK, uh, it will generate the client ID and the secret key. Make a note of it somewhere because you have to refer it later in the Salesforce org. I am clicking cancel because I already have created the API token. The next step inside Salesforce is to go to setup and search for name credential. Select click new name credential. Write the label. Name will get auto generated from the label. For the URL, click gears inside Interaction Studio and copy this URL from here till here and paste it in the URL. Keep the certificate lookup blank. Identity type, select name principal. And in the authentication protocol, select password authentication. In the username, provide uh, the client ID and in the password, provide the secret key which you have generated while creating that API token. Leave this generate authorization header checked and do not uh, check or populate any of these fields. Click save. After clicking save, you will get your name credential created and it will look like this. 
the next step is to create the server side campaigns so to create the server side campaigns inside interaction studio go to server side click server side templates and click new template in the new template editor when you will click the new template you will get a you will get some code here paste this code instead of that code and uh, in the data field provide any string uh, which is not available in any of the earlier available server side campaigns this field will be an identifier to identify which campaign we are referring inside salesforce and apart from this you can uh, select the recipe from here or you will get an option to select the recipe from campaign itself so you can leave it blank or as per your choice as of now i have only one recipe published inside interaction studio you can select any recipe as per your use case from here you can update the number of items which you want to show to the sales or service cloud agent on the visitors record as of now it will show four records you can update it as per your requirement click save and click publish from here close it uh, once you will close it it will get created from created like this uh, from this email template after this after you are done with the email template creation sorry server side template creation click server side campaigns and click select a new campaign in the new campaign it will automatically select the channel as server which you don't need to change and in the experiences select this con make this control to 0% which will ensure that this experience will be visible to 100% of the users and add the template for this campaign as of now we have created template rs so let's select this and you will be able to see that your data field is appearing as we have configured in the template maximum number of items are four and recipe you can select from here click save and and sorry provide the name of the campaign and click save and publish it i'm not creating another because i have already created this campaign after this after you are done with server side template and campaign creation the last step is to go to salesforce service or sales app open any contact or lead record which is your visitor record and click edit page i have already configured so i will just show you how you will you can do it once you will install the package and configure those name credential you will be able to see next best product and next best promotions inside uh, this uh, package uh, if you want to see uh, recommend products you can configure this next best product component on the visitors record or if you want to see the promotions as well then you can uh, drag this component on the visitors record as of now i have just dragged the product recommendation tab because i am not working on promotion as of now uh, click on this tab you can change the name of this tab the crm identifier by which it will identify the user inside interaction studio is email and the data set to which you are referring to as i just showed you it is this one in which you have configured your campaigns and everything data field which we we configured in the template <coughs> this is the data field 
and this is the action name by which you will be identify this action inside the event stream you can key, you can put any name uh, through which you can identify the action and keep the channel name same as we have provided in the campaign server uh, you can check these boxes if you don't want to provide the image of the product if you don't want to provide the details button you don't want to provide the product description or title so i'm not unchecking any of these click save and click activation this has already been activated uh, that is why i'm i'm able to see remove as a op default but if when you will do it first time you will be able you will be seeing add as org default so click that button and click done go back to the contact record and you will see how the user's product affinity the recently browsed items are visible on the visitors record uh, if you will see this user this is one user and if you will go to another user you will see different items which were browsed by this user so this is how you can uh, see the browsing history of the of the visitor and provide them better recommendation as per their behavioral history uh, one important point i missed to highlight is for server side events uh, like we uh mention the identity attribute for web sdk identities as an email address similarly for server side events make sure that you have selected the identity attribute so here i have selected the email address as an identity attribute please do not forget to select it from this general setup screen and post this click save please let me know if you have any further questions thank you